It doesn't really do anything. Mid tones, perhaps. Yeah, there, there we go. Just to set the highlight a bit. Now we can make this kind of extreme to make sure that we got what we're looking for. And when we're done, we can lower the opacity to make it less extreme. Something like this. Now we also need to make the lips a lot darker, so we we'll use the burn tool and paint over the lips. And then you need to do this quite a few times to really get a result. It's also to achieve this cat-like kind of look with darker lips. Something like that. Much better. Uh, you can also do this on top of the eyes to make these parts fill in a bit more darker. Make it look a bit more extreme. And while we're at it, we might as well use the sharpen tool. You can do that on top of the eyes to make them pop out a bit more. And also on top of the eyelids and uh, um, these parts. I like that. Much better. Okay. So we're done with the eyes. Now we got the tattoos, or the tattoo-like kind of bright spots, you know. And we also have a um, dark kind of, uh, like a texture on top of the skin that we need to make from the, from the original, as you can tell from this picture. So, what I'm going to do is actually, um, let's begin with the bright spots. We need to make a new layer. And this layer, we're going to double click to get into the blending options. And once we're in here, we're going to use the outer glow. Set this to white. The opacity can be quite low, I think. And the spread should be a couple of pixels, and then the size should be like 10 pixels. Or such. Now we're going to paint with a really small brush here. It should be like just a couple of pixels wide. And it should be white, of course. And the hardness should set to, to be set to zero. Now I had this hour below with this, that it's way too big. So we're going to set it a, a lot less big. We should start out with something fairly extreme. Something like that, and then just lower it a lot. That's much bigger, better. Uh, so, let's continue. You can make these spots in different sizes if you want them to pop out a bit more. Perhaps just a few that is really big and then mostly those small ones. But it's entirely up to you, of course. Once we're done with that, we're going to make those um, these kind of shapes in the face. And to do that, we're going to use this, the pan tool. So we start off putting a point somewhere. 
and then the end, drag in a bit, push the Alt key and press the end point to make it uh, sharp. Like that. Now this shape is going all wide, but that doesn't matter right much right uh, because we're going to edit it in the end anyway. So just let it be for now. So once we're done with all those paths, we're going to to fill them up with some sort of color. So first, of of course, we need a new layer. And we fill this layer um, from the path by holding control and clicking it. And we gain a selection from the path and uh, then go back to layer, select a new layer and just fill it with black by holding Alt and pressing backspace. And now we get this black color and it's all over the place and just not, just not covering the face as we wanted to. So we're going to make a mask first off. Uh, by gaining the selection from the use saturation that we use to color the face. So we hold on control and click on this mask so we get the selection. And then with the new layer selected, press this to add a layer mask. Now as you can tell, uh, the shapes are only covering the face but also some parts of the hair uh, that we don't want it to cover. So what we're going to do is actually uh, use the brush again with the mask selected. Uh, make a brush that is fairly small. Set the hardness to zero and lower the opacity to like below 20%. And then start painting it with black. Now you need to make a fairly large amount of strokes, but that also gives us more control, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, once you're done, we can set the, uh, the blend mode set to overlay, I guess, or soft light perhaps is even better. Soft light is. And there pretty much is.